Sarah? Okay. Thank you. Story, the story I'm going to tell tonight is about surprise. Science is all about surprise. Scientists love to be surprised. And when they tell you they're looking for the Higgs boson, they would rather not find it, actually, when you talk to them, because they can still hunt for it and be surprised about finding it later. It's almost disappointing for some of them to actually find it. And you discover this. I've been doing, I've been doing uh, Science Friday for 22 years now, about. And we, we will... We will, we'll con we will continue to do it for another as many years as we can. And during those years, I've interviewed a lot of scientists, and, and they always, as people, will surprise you by what they say. They are people, and they, they, you think you know how they're thinking. You think you know what they're thinking. You've read all about them. You've worked with them over the years. But they will surprise you nonetheless. For example, Oliver Sacks. You know who Oliver Sacks is, the neuroscientist? Yes, he's written a lot of interesting books. And he always comes on Science Friday when he has a new book out. And so one time he was scheduled to come on Science Friday and talk about his new book. And he's such a great interview. We all like to talk to him, but we always give him an hour to talk. Say, so come on for an hour because we really isn't long enough, but that's all we have. But this time, we had a special event and we could not put an hour for Oliver Sacks. So we called up his producer, his assistant, and we said, you know, we're very sorry. We would like to interview Oliver for an hour, but we can only do 40 minutes. Well, why not? Well, because we have an opportunity no one has ever had before. Someone is searching for a giant squid in the South Pacific, and we have an opportunity to interview the captain of the boat, the scientist on the boat, live for 20 minutes before the end of the hour. So we can only put Oliver on for 40 minutes and not the last 20. <clears throat> I said, I'm sorry, you know, it was a long silence. And the handler said, are you kidding? I thought we were losing Oliver forever. He said, giant squid, that's Oliver's favorite subject. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> Would you allow him to sit through that whole interview and let him stay on as you're interviewing the scientist? Let him sit there and listen, maybe? We'd be very happy to have him come on for 40 minutes. I said, wow, I never knew this about Oliver. I knew all this, all this kind of stuff would happen. This is very surprising. So sure enough, Friday came around, and Oliver Sacks comes walking into the studio with a T-shirt with a giant squid on it. <laughs> And in each hand, he has a rubber squid that he is squeezing in hand, one hand after the other. As like a kid in a candy shop, he's going to talk about the giant squid. So I said, Oliver, sit down, and we, we'll, we talk about his book, and I can see that he's squirming to get on to the next interview, where he's not really that interested in his book. So sure enough, sure enough, 40 minutes after the hour, we come on, and I... I I said, Oliver, you can sit here and, and wait through the interview if you'd like. We're going to talk to him. He says, yeah, please, let me sit down and, and wait with you. So we get the captain of the boat on, and he starts talking about his search for the giant squid. And Oliver says, can I ask him a question? <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Go for it. And he starts talking. to I could sit back and put my feet up now. I know he's, talk, he's doing the interview and talking to the... Uh, the the scientists are looking for the giant squid. So surprise, so much stuff that you never expect scientists to happen. The other, the other small surprising event I'll talk to you about is when Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall came, has been on our program, yes, many times. <laughs> about, about 10 years ago, I'm going to pull that out of my head because I'm not quite sure she's been on so many times. She came on the program and once again, we gave her like an hour to herself, and I had, I like to get calls in, it's a talk show, and I like to get the listeners in, and I had, I had used up so much of the hour just in a great conversation with her, that I had looked at my watch, I had about two minutes left, I'll, I have to take a phone, one call, let's go to one call. Guy's on the phone, he says, Dr. Goodall, it's so great to talk to you, thank you for being on the program, do you think there is another primate out there that we haven't discovered yet? Gee, I hadn't even thought about asking that myself. And she said, yeah, there really is one. 
And he said, well, do you think that you're going to actually discover it? She says, yeah, I think we're getting closer and closer. So I said, wait, time out, time out. I'm the third person in this room, and I don't know what the both of you are talking about. Obviously, you two do. But I'm going to take a guess. Are you talking about Sasquatch? <laughs> Yeti? The abominable snowman? And she said, yes, we are. <laughs> we're that's what we're talking about. And I said, Dr. Goodall, do you think that you actually can find one? She says, well, we have fibers now, hairs that have been taken off of trees and things, and maybe we can do DNA analysis and actually figure out what this thing really is. But I really believe that it does exist. My director says in my head, time's up, you're out of time. <laughs> and, and it turns out that she still, she had come on in, in subsequent years and in years that have She's always admitted that that's what she does believe in the existence of uh, Sasquatch. She wrote, she wrote a forward to a book that was entitled The Science of Sasquatch, which did, not, which did not take any side one way or the other, but just presented the evidence. So my story tonight, and I'll conclude it, is that we are always surprised in, in doing science as science journalists, and it's, it's such a pleasure to find scientists who are willing to talk and, and, and tell us why they are surprised and to share their surprises with us. Thank you very much.